Michelle Knight, this is the astrological overview for Aries for the whole of June. Now you're going to have to bear with me because I really cannot give this month justice because if I did it would take an hour and a half at the very least. This is a phenomenal month of change, transformation and intensity for you. You're going to discover things about yourself that actually you already knew. In fact, you're gonna find out things about other people that you already knew, and also about a shift in your consciousness and how to be the best that you can be. Your creative juices are flowing, your spiritual juices are flowing, you're trying to create harmony within your home and family. Also, you are feeling that you are opening up spiritually on some level that possibly you didn't even know existed. Now, I've been doing this quite some time and I've never come across a month quite like it, except I have to warn you that July is even more intense. So you're gonna to have to bear with me when I look at my notes and I tell you step by step about your phenomenal June. First of all, we kick off on the first with a grand water trine and this water trine is opening you up in a way. You're realizing how some of your insecurities have held you back and you feel as if something's happening to you, something's washing over you, something's transforming you so that you can let go of some of those insecurities. And that's happening all month. On top of that, though, you might find yourself having waves of insecurities or situations coming up where you feel a little bit emotionally out of control. Bear with it. Although it feels very intense, this is all part of the transformation that's going on deep within your Aries soul. We also have a kite happening on the first. I do love a good old kite. It rises us above the situation so that we can look down and see something from a new angle. And for you, again, it's all about that insecurity and also your sense of what you fear and how your fears should no longer hold you back from taking a new route. On the third, Venus, the planet of love, goes into its yearly position for you, of you feeling in the need for security in a way, to be around your family, to be around your home, to be all kutched up in a nice old way. However, unlike any other year, there's so much other stuff going on in the skies, you may be just needing to be loved up at home just to catch your breath. We then have Neptune going retrograde on the 7th. You're feeling things and, and maybe even enhancing some spiritual gifts that you left behind in the past. And on the 8th, we have a new moon. This is your chance to communicate differently. It's very important that you step into your power in the way that you communicate. Do not let yourself be disempowered or let other people disempower you by creating high emotion. You're learning to take a step back and communicate in a way that is much more powerful than just going rah and expressing your emotions. We have on the 8th another grand water trine and another kite. And again, this is about you finding your space within your home, within your fears. We're looking back to how your family molded you and moving on. Now, the, the big news of this month is on the 15th, where we have a mystic rectangle, a cradle, a kite, a double grand trine, a double talent square. Um, yeah, and that forms a five-sided diamond in the sky. And like ye old Rihanna song, shine bright like a diamond. Allow yourself to love yourself through this time of challenge and to polish up any sides of you that you let get a bit dusty or a bit washed over with the wrong energy and vibe. This is your time to shine bright. And if you don't, the universe will be hollering loudly in your ear. No one can ignore the messages of this month. And you, being a warrior, grab your courage in your hand and get ready to open up to what these plants are going to show you. Now, the mystic rectangle is... For you about paying attention to the details, in the beginning of the month, you learnt what had to be done to confront your emotions and now it's time to get practical and to open up to literally putting your emotion to one side and doing what you've got to do practically. We then have also the cradle saying, I mean, basically all these things are saying to you, 
Use your intuition, but get things practically done. Be aware of your emotions and your insecurity, but do not let that hold you back. Rise above whatever's going on in your life and open up to the fact that now is the time for action and energy, but by paying attention to the details. Now, the double grand trine for you is quite good, actually. You're opening up to the fact that you don't just need certain people in your life, that you have a lot of love around you, that there is a lot of energy around you that's very positive and it's time to love yourself and to nurture other people with the compassion and love that they give you, but by also knowing that you are not chained by anybody and anything and that you are wherever you are in your life, not because you have to be, but because you want to be. Wow, I mean, God, there's so much going on. The sun enters the fourth on the 21st and again, this is a time for you to allow yourself space and nourishment to deal with the massive revelations that are coming up this month. And just to trust, actually, by the end of the month that you're going to come out of this period around the 27th when, and you're going to feel much more like your old self. In fact, you're going to feel very confident. You're going to feel very playful. You're going to feel very excited about life. So you can do the work at the beginning of the month and you will have the reward and playfulness at the end of the month. And lots of very, very positive, amazing things are coming your way. You're going to have to look at what needs to change now with regards to your homework and love life and get on and do it. There is pleasure, there is fun, there is happiness for you at the end of the month. Dance to your own beat this month. Listen and correct anything within yourself that is a shadow holding you back. Polish yourself up to be the best you can be and something extraordinary could happen. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.